Luna Terra has been on an absolute tear lately. Out of all the altcoins I've reviewed on this channel, Terra might just be my favorite. It is by far and away the strongest cryptocurrency that is looking at the moment. It's thrived in this market and it's done a fantastic job in this video i'm going to cover through the fundamentals and technical analysis of luna and tell you why i believe it is the most important cryptocurrency out of all the cryptocurrencies so let's get started what is luna so luna is the protocol and terra is the stable coins so you can see here i've just paused the video on their youtube channel on their website so basically what terra is is basically a group or a few stable coins so we all know about ust which is tether which most people use i think coinbase has their own one that's currently being traded but the problem is with these is that they're centralized they're not decentralized so anything can happen while they're on them and there's a bit of mistrust the government regulations are trying to get into ust and say they should be you know some doing some regulation around them and it's something that's heating up a little bit and that's what makes terra so interesting because they're able to make coins like UST, the Korean one, the Mongolian one, and they're basically able to ping these cryptos or these stable coins in their own network, decentralized and accurately pinged to the actual real price. So if, say you were going on vacation and you wanted to go between say the US and Korea, you didn't have to pay those excessive fees to change over your money to different currencies. There's a lot of uh, problems there. There's a lot of fees. It can be quite a hassle. There's a lot of hidden charges, especially if you're using things like credit cards. You really have to be on top of it because you're going to get screwed by banks. And that's what you Terra is trying to fix. They're trying to have a very low cost, easy, fast way to move between currencies and trade with currencies. Now, when it comes to money, there's a few things you can do with money. So Terra aims to solve these three, and it's pretty interesting. The first one is you can obviously spend it. So that's what, I, that's what I've just demonstrated here. So you can move between the UST and move it in and out of other cryptocurrencies. You can also use it as payment. In Korea, Terra is actually quite famous in, you know, you can actually use the Terra stablecoin and actually buy day-to-day -day things there. And it will slowly make its way to other countries and this will slowly adopt in other countries. And that's what we really need in crypto. Crypto needs to be adopted in day-to-day -day transactions. That's the big thing. If that can happen, then crypto has gone mainstream and it's gonna be used in a day-to-day -day basis. And Terra or Luna is the way to it. The other thing you can do is you can of course save money. And that's where Anchor comes in. So Anchor actually has a very, very competitive interest rate here of of 20% fixed rate on stable coins. So they get 20% interest rate for Anchor. So this is actually from September 7th. So double check on the interest rate as of there. All the research I did still points that it's still 20%. But the fact that you can get a 20% rate fixed interest rate on your savings is gonna help people who are saving a deposit for a house or saving a rainy day fund for whatever reason. And it's just a much more competitive interest rate than most people can get just putting their money into a bank account at the moment. So Terra is really just trying to make the use of money more easy, more free flow less charges, less fees, more quicker transactions, more decentralized and more power to the user. And this is why I say it's the most important crypto out of all the other cryptocurrencies. Something other interesting as well is if we look at DeFi Llama and we look at the total locked of all chains and you can see Ethereum is by far and away the king at 148 total value locked, 148 billion, which is a lot. And the other one here below it is actually Terra Luna outperforming BNB. Why is that? Because everyone believes in Luna. The smart money is investing in Luna at the moment and it has a almost a 17 billion total value locked. This is where the smart money is. This is one of the easiest ways to get information on cryptocurrency and just to say, okay, well, what are people staking? Okay, they're staking, they're, they're, they're holding BNB, they're holding Avalanche, they're holding Solana, they're holding Tron, Matic, Phantom. What do you notice about all of these coins in the top eight, say? They're all high performing coins and they've all done fantastic the last few months while a lot of the other cryptos have been struggling lately. And Terra is number two, which should hit into your brain. There's a lot of money here. Another thing to know is that Luna or Terra is actually deflationary. So say you use Luna, the currency that's picked to it, or you use say Terra, they'll actually burn one of them and actually move it over to the UST thus making Terra Luna a deflationary asset as they continue to burn more and more tokens. Let's have a look over to my filter on coin codex, which is basically all pinged to the Ethereum value. This is what I use just to initially screen my cryptos that I'm going to then delve, delve into deeper further on. And I look for as much green as possible, right? So this is all pinged to Ethereum. And now look how much red there is. Look how much coins lose to Ethereum's value. So let's have a look at Luna and look at that all green, all outperformed Ethereum. 2400 percent year one year 2200 almost year to date 660 percent outperformed ethereum in just six months 
three months Apple formed Ethereum by 100%, one month 100%, and in the seven days 36%. So it basically has just completely destroyed Ethereum in terms of return. It doesn't mean Ethereum is a bad coin, it's a very good coin. That's why I use this actually, like I said, to filter out the results and see how many of them are there. If it's all red, I'm going to wait for them to turn green. I'm not going to research them. I'm looking for really good cryptocurrencies that are outperforming Ethereum consistently. So I'm looking for as much green as possible when it comes to me initially screening these coins. Let's have a look at the charts. So if we have a look at Terra Haluna, I mean, it has been on an absolute tear lately, just an absolute beast of a coin. So this is my Michael Pizzino Fib Gan tool here. And we recently just put in an all time high just a few minutes ago. And we're starting to find a little bit of, you know, we're starting to duck a little bit here. Prices aren't to go. We've actually formed a bit of a double top here and we're starting to make our way down a little bit. Luna is just too overvalued. You have to wait. I mean, I'm just going to say it plain and simple. You're going to have to really wait for a pullback to some sort of extent before you start to th consider purchasing Luna. It's just, it's too expensive. It's at the all time high and you have to wait for a bit of a pullback. Now there is a bit of a pullback. It's negligible. It's probably going to keep going. Cause I mean, while cryptocurrencies have bled, I mean, look at this since December 14th, we've basically had, we've been up consistently si since then. So about a week we've been solid every day, been putting in higher tops, higher tops, higher tops, while the rest of the other market has been bleeding out. And look at my right hand panel here. Look at that all bleeding out, all red, but look at Luna down only 3% holding up fantastically well compared to a lot of the other cryptos out there. What I want to see from Luna? Well, I would love to see a bit of a dip somehow. If I could snag it around $52, I'd be pretty happy. The dream, of course, is that we test our major 50%, which is around 43.24%, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, there's no point in me moving the FIB tool that much because no matter what it is, it's going to look, you know, it's just going to be above its 50% because we just put it an all-time high. So it, it's, it's holding its ground at the moment. Hopefully we'll wait for a pullback and pick some up, but Luna is probably one of the best cryptocurrencies you can invest in and just hold. I mean, there's so much talk about Cardano and Polkadot and all these other cryptocurrencies that people are buying over Luna, but Luna is going to give you some serious gains in a very easy way just because it actually has a really good use case that's going to be backed in the future. If this catches on fire, Luna could easily put into the top four to three cryptocurrencies. I can really imagine it being Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two. I think Solana will be number three, but I can see Luna being number four realistically, absolutely. In a few years, maybe a year or two, but it definitely has the potential to crack a top five crypto. And for that, you'll get huge gains. I uh, definitely a coin to look into during the bear market. If we do enter one at the moment, it's things are looking sideways. But if things did collapse a lot, Luna would be a crypt good cryptocurrency to look into because you can always move it into your stable coin and use it. That's the fantastic thing about it. So it's a very versatile crypto and that's why it's total value locked is very high what i want to see from luna well i mean ideally i'd love to see it drop a bit so i can pick some up but this is it we're hitting click higher tops now so we've had some rejection here and around the 75 dollar mark we've signed to push down now and it'll be interesting to see where it goes at the moment i still do think we'll be pushing up if a few more we're probably just taking a little bit of a breather before we move on probably for in a couple days and then it's going to be on again but we don't know for 100 percent certain so definitely pull back and wait but if it ever did hit its major 50 percent at 43 dollars and 24 cents right here and this is time to sell the house sell the wife sell, sell everything and just stock up on luna you have to it's just too good of a crypto to pass up on i mean look at that just an easy uptrend that you can see that's just completely bursting out of control at this point and just looks so beautiful. And out of all the cryptocurrencies I've reviewed, this is the strongest by far. Other cryptocurrencies are bleeding out. Look at Luna the last week. It's been up day over day. It hasn't even had a day down at the moment. It's down at the moment. We might have one or two days now since we had a week of a good rally up, but just a versatile coin, very versatile and very strong. Price predictions? Well, 70 on the RSI gets us to $89, which isn't too far from where we're currently at. That gets us to a 16.95% increase from where it currently is. And AT on the RSI gets us to a 62% increase from where it currently is at 122 US dollars for one Terra or one Luna. And if we go 90 on the RSI, which is pretty unlikely, but if it does and we get a blow off top at some point, that would take Luna to about $222 for one Luna, which is about 193% increase from where it currently is. So not that high compared to some of the other returns you can get. And that's why I say wait for pullback because hitting 80 or 90 in an RSI, considering where Luna is at the moment, it's pretty unlikely. So your risk to reward ratio is a bit off. But again, good crypto to bookmark and to keep in your in your charting, in your trading view with some alerts ready to buy should that get a bit cheaper. That's going to do it for this video. Until then, I will see you on the next video.